For watching the station covering all of the DMV, DC News Now continues. And we're waking up to that fall feel again this morning. You will likely need that light jacket again. We're seeing a lot of 40s on the map back over towards our far western areas, the mountains region, as well as back over towards Winchester, Woodstock, Luray, all starting off into those 40s this morning. Right around 50, though, in Martinsburg, lower 50s in Frederick. But D.C. as well as Annapolis and Lexington Park, those are the areas that are relatively on the warmer side into those 60s to kickstart your Thursday. In terms of that temperature difference from yesterday morning to this morning, in case you're wondering, wondering it's just a degree or two warmer than yesterday morning but will you be able to notice probably not it's just one of those mornings that like i mentioned as you step out the door you just feel that light chill that light fall breeze satellite and radar though showing us that you don't need the umbrella we're gonna be tracking those dry conditions persisting and not only this morning but through the afternoon as well we'll just notice a few clouds strolling on by but speaking of some cloud cover we actually have some low level clouds we're talking about some fog that's reducing that visibility back over towards the woodstock area as well as parts of west Virginia. So heads up, you may see some of that reduction in visibility out that way this morning before eventually that should lift out. Trying to plan out the rest of your day today. We'll see that mix of sun and clouds as temperatures will climb back in the upper 70s to low 80s for your Thursday. Still feeling comfortable out there. That humidity still remaining on the lower end of things today. Tomorrow, that'll be slightly different. We start to notice an uptick in that humidity and that will continue into your Saturday. So feeling a bit more muggy out there tomorrow, but out there for today, feeling quite nice out there. Upper 70s to right around 80 degrees for your Thursday afternoon. Lows tonight falling back down to those 50s to low 60s. So I'm thinking that overnight tonight and tomorrow morning, a touch warmer than we're starting off with out there this morning. And that's thanks to the fact that we'll see a bit more of the cloud cover to kickstart tomorrow morning. So we're looking at partly to mainly cloudy skies out there for your Friday with high temperatures back in the upper 70s to lower 80s. I'm thinking tomorrow afternoon we'll see a bit more of the 80s on the map compared to what we'll see out there for this afternoon. Can with that chance for a stray shower to pop up, especially back over towards some of our coastal areas, back over towards the Chesapeake. That's later on tomorrow evening, but overall the bulk of our day tomorrow is looking dry. It's later on uh, tomorrow night and then into Saturday that we'll be watching that front back out towards our west approaching the region. That'll be bringing us some of that wet weather with it, but we do have this low and that system off the coast as well. That could influence a little bit more of that moisture out ahead of that cold front. Then that cold front clears the area for the second half of the weekend and we're talking more of a fall feel out there for our Sunday. So in terms of that seven day outlook, we're focusing on the weekend. Highs right around 80 on Saturday. We're looking at some scattered rain, maybe that isolated thunder threat right ahead of that cold front into the afternoon. Then by Sunday, we're looking dry. We'll be breezy behind that front with high temperatures into the middle 70s and lower humidity. As we start off that next work week, upper 70s, clear sun filled skies, and we're back in those low to mid 80s next Tuesday and Wednesday. That is much more seasonable for this time of the year considering our normal high around this time for DC is right around 85 degrees. Right now I do want to toss it over to Shanika who has a very latest look at those roadways.